it kind of started as me walking into a sample production house. And so I get in there with my whole vibe, yeah. um, with one sample that I made, you know, by my tailor on the Upper East Side. They wanted nothing to do with me. They were like, who are you? Where do you work? What's your history? So I bought fabric and then I made the first one. And Nantucket ground to a halt when I wore this this garment. And Nantucket is, is a polarizing place. There are people that um, sort of roll their eyes at you when someone like me comes along wearing a Terry Club town and bracelet. <laughs> and then the other half of the island thinks, oh my god, this is the best thing fabulous. Ever. Why doesn't this already exist? Right. And this becomes like a day to night oh, thing yeah. where you're wearing this by the pool. Oh, it's fantastic. And then you throw your shirt on underneath or not. Or oh, not. And then you're yeah. out for the night. Um, a guy's at the bar, he's ordering a beer, and he sort of he's wearing a kind of your standard issue Brooks Brothers sport coat. Mm. And his shoulder rubs against mine. And he feels that this is like a little different. There's right. some kind of texture here. Right. He looks over and he says, is that a terry cloth blazer? <laughs> I said, yeah, why well, yes it is. He said, that's amazing, I need one. Right. Where did you buy it? I said, I, I actually made one for myself, but I'm thinking about selling them. He said, well, take my email and please, I hope you sell them. Oh, he looks at me and says, beach, pool, dinner, whatever. Right? And I said, dude, did you just write my tagline? I think, I think you may have just written my tagline. That's when I knew we were on to something. Men and women customers are dying to break the story. I love this product. Yeah. I want to be one, the one to share it. Yeah. The other thing that's happening that's interesting mm -hmm. is stores calling us. Strategically, we just thought, Let's just sell these on our own website right. and let's really see how it goes. Uh, see how it yeah. goes. Um, then you start thinking about the distribution possibilities of sort of like having a store in these re really strategically great mm -hmm. locations. Mm -hmm. So I thought to myself, if I could be five blocks away from the facility that's making the first, you know, 700 of these, oh, yeah. why not do that? I'd love to see how you guys expand. It'd be interesting. You could do like little shorties or. You know, there's a ton of stuff you can do. Definitely. Yeah. We want to really push Instagram over the next mm -hmm. six, eight yeah. months. Delve more into sort of the lifestyle. So, mm -hmm. you know, we have some trips planned, more right. pictures being taken. Right. The idea is um, you are uh, in one of 50 of the most uh, exotic, beautiful locations in the world that we're picking. Yes. They're also quite spoiled. Yes. And you'll be sitting in Saint-Tropez and you will Instagram yourself, bask in Saint-Tropez. Yes. And so we're gonna be tracking all of those. And if you get five out of 50, uh -huh. um, then you'll earn yourself another towel and Fantastic. blazer. Fantastic. You're gonna That's need great... a few of these. Yeah. You need to visit them in your summer homes, right. your winter homes. Right, right. Um, but the idea is that um, kind of in the vein of rich kids of Instagram, yes. you're gonna be telling people that you're basking you know, yes. in St. Bart. I love it. I love it. Beautiful. You have a bag for that too. Oh, amazing. Amazing. Do you see?